So here I am connecting to my Wi-Fi. Big Daddy's me. I go and connect because I said I don't have a SIM card. I want to download an eSIM. Now it does its thing, checking the network info, and it comes right up and says, okay, which network are you on? I'm on T-Mobile. Kind of curious to see how this works, because if it works this flawlessly, I was worried this eSIM thing was going to catch me out. I was going to have to run down and go get me a new SIM card or whatever, scan the QR code from T-Mobile. And so that QR code, I'm signed into my T-Mobile account here. Obviously, I can't show you that screen because it's got all Uncle Mikey's sensitive information. So in T-Mobile, I selected update my device SIM. I didn't choose upgrade phone because it was trying to sell me a new phone. Change my device SIM was the option I selected. And finally, it says, okay, choose this option if you want to switch your SIM to a new device. Choose this option if you want to update the SIM in your current device. So I want to do a new device. And so it's asking me for the IME number from the device. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. All right, so let me, sh let me show you. Because Uncle Mikey figured this out. So it's asking me for an IME. The box does not have an IME on it. And I couldn't find an IME option on my phone screen. But I just noticed here. If I go to the bottom, it says activating in a store. If a representative asks for your EID, find it here. When I press that, it actually changes the screen and shows me the EID that I can use in here. Obviously, I can't show that on the screen. Just trying to help you figure out because that actually was like that. And so it was kind of really small at the bottom and I was paying attention to the big stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and click. And now I'm going to use this. Now it's asking me to put in the full EID. And it says, one T-Mobile number is available for this device. Activate. So because it's on Wi-Fi, apparently it's picked up the fact that T-Mobile has it registered. And so, fingers crossed. Oh, uh, you see, you got to read. We just sent a text message to my number. Please reply to confirm activation. <laughs> so I'm going to go to my old phone and approve. All these steps. T-Mobile is active. Fast as that. So apparently it doesn't take a few minutes. It's pretty much instant. Your number should be now ready to use. Next. Rocking and rolling. And that, my dear friends, is an eSIM swap. That was pretty cool, actually. And yes, it took a little bit longer than taking a SIM card in and out. But really, it wasn't that bad. And now that you've watched this video, you can do it a whole lot quicker.